only thing that I ask that you please don't tell me is that I look different with makeup because that's the freaking point. I don't waste hundreds of thousands of dollars to look the freaking same. So you could tell me lo que quieras, but that I look different with makeup because that's the freaking point of wearing makeup. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria. So before we go ahead and get started with today's video, make sure that you subscribe down below and hit the little campanita right next to it para que no se pierda ningún video that I upload. Um, so yeah, let's get started with today's video. I am so freaking excited to film this video today. I am just so happy to be filming another makeup video and also I have a lot of new products that I've been using and like showing you my new products I, I am obsessed with so yeah if you wanna see all these new products then keep on watching so the first product I have I've been trying this product for a while already and it's the Rebel Eye Paint for Brows and Eyes by Reina Rebelde and it looks like this and this is in the shade Frida. I love this. Little bit of product goes a long way. As you could see, it's just one little spot that I've been using. And I've been using this for months, like for months. And let's get these brows on. So my eyebrows are finally on. And I obviously did them off camera just because I suck at eyebrows. I'm not good at drawing in my eyebrows whatsoever. It takes me uh, quite some time. You know, sometimes I don't do them very symmetrical, but you know, eyebrows are cousins, not sisters. If you're like me and you were just not that good at doing eyebrows, you're gonna love their Rebel Paint just because it's so easy to glide on. And if you mess up a little bit, you know, you could just take your brush and fix it with concealer. But there's no freaking like stress, like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? I messed up my eyebrow. You know, like it's super easy to use and super easy to clean. And yeah, if you're a beginner like me, then you're gonna love this. Moving on to prime my lids today, I'm gonna use some concealer. I'm gonna use my latest obsession for my eyes. This is the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. And it looks like this. So another new product that I've been using that I freaking love are the Jeffree Star Morphe brushes that he recently came out with when he released the palette with Morphe. I'm going to go in with the shade What's the T right here. And it, so I'm going to take that on JS8 and I'm going to go directly into my crease. Now that I have um, what's the T on both eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same brush, JS8, and I'm going to dive into High Dude, which is like this rich chocolate brown color. Now that I have blended a High Dude on both outer corner of I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger to apply this glitter shade that's in the palette the name of that shade is Millie in so I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna apply it all over the lid okay so now that I have that shade millions on both eyelids I'm gonna go ahead and do some wing liner and for that I use the architect waterproof eyeliner another new product that i've been using that i love <sighs> i can't even express how much i love it <sighs> my new favorite lashes these are in they are in the style of chewy by araceli beauty and they are so nice just the packaging itself is so pretty and like the whole inside is like sarape pattern which i love and you know 
also my mom's name is Araceli and she spells it just the way that my mom spells it go ahead and pop these chewy lashes on this is how the style of chewy looks on I love these I will link Araceli's um, Instagram in the description box check them out so I just primed my face with my all-time favorite um, the baby skin by Maybelline but now the moment that I have been waiting for in this video my new all-time favorite is the Fox Filter or Fox, I don't know how to pronounce it, Filter Foundation by Huda Beauty. So take two pumps of this. And I freaking loved it. This one is so full coverage, it's so nice. It looks freaking flawless on the skin. I We went to the river not so long ago and I got super sunburned, super tanned. So it does look like it's a little light for me, but honestly, it's perfect. I love it. Um, It's just that I got sunburned. But yeah, it's like super full coverage. All I needed was two pumps and a half, but I do have a big face, you know? And you know it applies so nicely so I'm using my loved air spun powder and with this trio que se llama coqueta it comes with a bronzer a blush and a highlighter I love all three of them they are so 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 pretty and definitely make you feel very coqueta but I am cur I have currently been obsessing with the contour shade. Even though I've showed y'all quite a few new items that I've been living for, hay cosas que nunca van a cambiar, and hay cosas que cuando te obsesionas no las puedes dejar, como el pan. Pan and tortillas are very hard to give up. Um, this is one of those products. So I mentioned this before. This is the Vive Cosmetics Diosa and Reina Highlighting Duo. I love this thing. <laughs> so yeah, I can't get over this. Like I cannot get over Vive Cosmetics Highlighting Duo. of color to this look I'm dying to try this green so I see no la riego aquí oh there we have it I added some green under the eye I've been living for a pop of color lately I was not very adventurous with makeup before but you know I'm not mad at this like So we are almost done with this look. I added the green. I also added some black eyeliner in my waterline just to make it a little bit darker. And to finish it off, I'm going to go in with the lip liner by Italia in the shade Chocolate. I'm feeling a little adventurous. I kind of want to do a lip that I wouldn't normally do. And I'm kind of living for like this chocolate moment. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade Morenita by Vive Cosmetics. So there we have it. This is the shade Morenita by Vive Cosmetics. I'm not about the dark lipstick, but now that fall is coming next week. Their formula is amazing. Um, I could literally go eat 12 tacos right now and nothing will happen to the lipstick. So now for the final step, I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badescu Rose Water. <laughs> When I do my setting spray, I have this very cute abanico that I use just to dry out my... And it gives you that Rosa de Guadalupe moment. <laughs> so 
So now that I freaking did the sopladera, like, what is that thing in Mexico called? El bracero, como cuando le das el bracero para que no se le vaya la llamita. So now that I am done with my bracero moment, um, I think that's what it's called, I don't know. Here is my final look. It's like giving me fall vibes. We have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Just so homegirl knows that you liked it. And if you didn't like it and you dislike it, well, that's okay too. If you have any video suggestions, make sure that you leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed this look. And I'll see you all on the next one. Adios.